All right, guys. Hey, this is Spartan One One Seven GW. We are here at Revelations at Valhack, and I'm going to be going over a little bit of my kit, but more or less the gun. This is the Elite Force M27 IR. Only 500 of these were made. As you can see, it's beautiful. Has nice bronze tan body. I uh, even matched it up with a little bronze Elcan as well. Uh, but I was very uh, lucky. Uh, I was able to get this from Airsoft RS Tactical in North Carolina. They're right around the Greensboro area. Make sure you guys check them out. Big help getting this gun from them because as you guys know there's just so few of these like literally the last time I talked to Elite Force there was only maybe like three or so on the market left that hadn't been sold so uh, definitely rare if you have a chance make sure you guys pick it up uh, it's in the you know 500 uh, 500 dollar range or so so it's definitely one of the guns that you're really gonna have to save for to get but if you're a collector if you really if you really like HK weapons which of course Humorex has all the uh, um, you know licensing for this is definitely the gun for me Big thing was I love the mid-length style rail system. Of course, it's part of the design of the M27. Uh, it just has a beautiful color, beautiful body, and of course, it has kind of the newer style HK stock. Uh, definitely one thing, um, as you can see, I basically kind of decked it out for revelations, but plenty of rail space. It has a nice locking rail system, so I was able to throw my Spectre on there. Uh, it actually comes with flip-up iron sights as well, so you're definitely going to be able to use this right out of the box. Um, definitely going to want to throw a red dot or something on there, but if you're going to be using this more of a DMR or light support weapon, a little L-can or something like this is good to go. Uh, right out of the box, it shoots about, mm, mine was shooting about 400 FPS. With point two, uh, Elite Force point two eights, I was shooting about 320. Uh, it has a really good rate of fire. Of course, a stock like this has a really easy twist bust, uh, butt stock, so you can put a battery in there. Some guys put three batteries in there. Uh, depending on the size of the light bulb, you could fit you know, X-Mat batteries in there, but I put an 11 one in there, no problem, in the buffer tube, and it was just rocking. Like, the rate of fire on this thing is nuts. But uh, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and just shoot some of these targets down here. One of the great things about Balhack is they have a pretty well set up range. Multiple targets at multiple distances. Uh, would be nice if they had some that were a little further, but I mean, for this, this is actually really, really nice. Uh, that's probably one of my biggest things about a lot of fields is they don't always have targets for you to shoot at, like an actual range. And as you can see, this is pretty close to what a real range is set up like. So without further ado, we're just gonna uh, go ahead and get a little bit of shooting in. So as you saw, we conduct our little shooting test, we're right of fire, definitely really impressive. Uh, one of the things I like is how consistent this thing shoots. Uh, it's been shooting about 180 feet or so, a little bit more, right around 200 or so. Uh, there's definitely some long lines of sight in Balhack. So if you're shooting in the tower, this is actually one of the weapons you want to have. Because it really does behave a lot like a light support weapon, especially when you got a surefire style mag that like Echo One makes or a box mag or something like that. You're gonna be laying down some serious hate. Uh, one couple couple features I forgot to mention is um, it has a uh, enhanced charging handle, which is actually pretty nice. It's actually one of the things I like. I, I don't really like standard charging handles very much, but just the fact that the little features like that they incorporate. And as you can see, once you bring the uh, bolt all the way back, it'll lock the actual mock imitation bolt there in place. And uh, just by simply uh, depressing the bolt catch, it sends the bolt home. Uh, and it even has a little HK logo on there, which is pretty nice. Now when it comes to trademarks and the externals and the build, I mean, this is this is OEM by VFC, so there's no shortage of you know, external build quality. And the trademarks on there, uh, they're, they're pretty much everywhere. Like pretty much everywhere I turn this web, there's another HK logo. Uh, it even has numbered Picatinny rails and, and, and such. And uh, overall, you know, definitely a great weapon to buy. So if you are one of those lucky ones out there, there's only 500 of these on the market. If you happen to get one from a trade or if you happen to get one from your local store, I suggest you pick one of these up now. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably the best variant of the HK 416 style weapons that are out there. Because you have the nice mid-length uh, system. And as you can see, it has the beautiful bronze body with the tan uh, furniture on there as well. So big thanks to Elite Force. Airsoft or us tactical and for Balhack for hosting the event here. Uh, this is Spartan 117 GW. Thank you guys for watching.
I'm James C. Burns. I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.